Good evening, everyone. Uh, we're going to begin our program. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to eHealth uh, Careers. This is uh, part of BCC, and um, tonight we have some special things to announce uh, to our community at large, and we have some of our press to announce this with us. Uh, but this is, we're going on our second anniversary in October, so we're a fairly new uh, part of BCC, um, but we are growing very fast. Uh, we have four new programs that we're starting this September, and uh, this um, new things that we're going to announce are even going to afford us to have other programs. Um, so one of the things that is going to start this year, September, um, is our nursing program, which has been asked about ever since we started opening our doors. Uh, we're known far and wide for the BCC nursing, and everyone's been saying, so are you going to have nursing? Well, we can finally say yes. And the plan you see over here, if you have a time afterwards, we'll show you the new wing design that is being constructed as we speak. Um, so Pat Dent, our Dean of Health Sciences, is here to tell you about this. Good evening, everyone. This is a very, very exciting place for me to be. We have seen eHealth growing, as Karen said, um, over the last couple of years. And along with that, the development and preparation uh, for the implementation of our new eHealth nursing option, which is starting this fall. We are taking in our very first cohort of students into the eHealth option. It is the same program, it's the exact same curriculum as our full-time day nursing program, but it has some critical and exciting differences. For example, approximately 25% of the curriculum will be delivered online, but we will have the traditional laboratory and uh, clinical instruction and a lot of supports uh, for our students in this wonderful initiative. And it is the same faculty that has been working diligently to create these courses, and they are equally as excited about delivering it in this new way. Along with that, and if you hope you'll come visit when we christen these new simulators, we will be introducing a lot of innovative technology that is going to enrich our entire nursing program with the use of simulation and technology for student instruction. So as, um, as I said, it's very, very exciting. We feel that the way this curriculum will be delivered will enhance our students' technology literacy skills for a high-tech clinical environment that they're going to be entering, and that in addition, what's most important is that we will be able to emphasize the critical thinking and the leadership competencies that are so important for the development of the nursing profession. So we are very, very excited about starting this fall, and I'm here on behalf of Donna Ayala, who's our department chair for nursing, to share her excitement and sh uh, about this new initiative. So welcome tonight, and you'll be hearing much more about what else is coming to eHealth this fall. Well, I also have the great privilege of announcing tonight that we are starting a new partnership with South Coast Hospitals. Um, this is something that has been um, talked about. Um, we felt a great need um, to have such a partnership to be able to offer different programs. I don't want to say too much because a lot of people here have uh, pieces that they would like to share, but it was just a, a great combination of effort. Um, South Coast sharing their needs for their employees and needs that are growing over time. They actually gave us a wonderful study that showed um, who was in which position and how many people would be retiring soon. Uh, so therefore, we want to be able to have very capable new people to be able to take over these new places. And it's just a growing need. You know, with 72 million baby boomers alive today, uh, there's going to be a growing need. Uh, 10,000 people went on Medicare January 1st of this year, and 10,000 people a day for the next 19 years are going on Medicare. This is a great market for how are we going to serve these people? How are we going to keep them healthy? How are we going to you know, take care of them in their illness? Uh, so South Coast is now providing us with a great branch uh, for us to be able to deliver more 
and much more technical kinds of programs. So I'm going to let um, Sue Calhoun, the Director of Organizational Development for South Coast Hospital Group, um, to talk to us about the South Coast piece of the partnership. It's quite a title you have there. <laughs> And the tricky thing is, Karen, no one really knows what organizational development is all about, so I'm lucky. At any rate, I want to tell you that I'm very excited to be here to express how pleased South Coast Health System is to partner with Bristol Community College. Through this partnership, we will offer local students high-quality health care programs right here in our own community. The new programs are a direct result, as Karen was stating, of a series of strategic meetings between South Coast and BCC, where we work together to design training opportunities for students that will ultimately fill much needed positions in the healthcare field. And the two that I'd particularly like to highlight, one is the Central Sterile Processing Certificate Program, and the other is the Surgical Technical Technician uh, program degree, which will provide students with the skills they need to successfully attain these in demand healthcare positions. This fills both a community and an industry need. Through this partnership, students will have the opportunity to train locally in our state of the art surgery centers at both St. Luke's and Charlton Memorial Hospital. Both facilities offer students the most advanced technology and equipment available to enhance their learning experiences. We look forward to welcoming students into our hospitals as early as this fall, and we will continue to work with BCC to develop new educational opportunities that broaden employment opportunities for our students and in our region. Thank you. Our next speaker is uh, Greg Thesaurus, I'm sorry, Thesaurus, <laughs> I don't know why I have a hard time with that today. Um, and he is our acting uh, VP of academics. Um, he's going to talk about the PC side of this. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. And thank you, Sue, for mentioning a few of those hard words that I, I had written down on a piece of paper and I wasn't sure if I was going to get them out, the different programs that we're starting with. So I'm going to skip that part. Um, <laughs> It, um, it, it's a delight to be here uh, and get a chance to uh, speak to you on this occasion. It, they, they always give this opportunity to someone with a title, but there are a lot of people, as Sue mentioned, behind the scenes who really are doing the work. Uh, one is our eHealth Careers Director, uh, Karen Varrier, who uh, we, this program owns, owes a great uh, indebtedness. Uh, another person is our Dean of Health Sciences, Pat Dent. Uh, without these people and without the wonderful people at South Coast, uh, this agreement wouldn't uh, wouldn't be wouldn't be here. Now, the thing from the BCC perspective that's really critical to understand is that this agreement, this partnership, gives us the ability to go into the hospitals and use their operating room facilities and classroom facilities right there in the hospital. These are facilities that we just simply don't have the budget. Uh, we don't have the facilities. Uh, so, without this partnership. Uh, we would simply not have the opportunity to bring these educational services to the people and the students of Fall River and New Bedford, two of the areas where there's an incredible need for the, this kind of education. Uh, so from the, from the academic, from my house's side, uh, this is the critical need, is having the kind of facilities. So thank you to South Coast for the partnership. Uh, it, it, and we look forward to a, a wonderful working relationship. And one of the things uh, that I'm hearing from all of the people in health sciences is that we've always had a wonderful working relationship with South Coast, but this particular partnership is really going to take us to the next level. So thank you. The other piece that this affords is that the uh, employees from South Coast hospitals can have on-site learning. Uh, which I think will open up a greater possibility for them to also be able to go to classes. Uh, sometimes just travel time and scheduling is almost impossible, but this will give them also an opportunity to have something on their site. Um, and we've saved the best for last. So we have our president here of uh, BCC who would also like to speak about this wonderful partnership that we've developed and uh, would like to have President Frega come up. Well, thank you, uh, Karen, and uh, my thanks to everybody who helped part uh, put together this uh, wonderful wor uh, workshop and open house today. Uh, it's a great way to showcase uh, the wonderful programs at uh, BCC uh, in eHealth. 
Um, I should point out that uh, this uh, announcement, a very exciting in the partnership with South Coast, uh, re uh, really touches on um, my main objective uh, in, in uh, arranging eHealth and entering conversations with a lot of partners to get eHealth going, and that is access. Access to opportunity, access to educational opportunity, even more important. Um, and the, the, the presence of, uh, I'm going to say finally, the presence of nursing. Uh, it took a while to uh, plan it all out and a lot of needs. Uh, the presence of nursing is, uh, points to one of the main reasons that we went into eHealth in the first place. We have an enormous number of applications uh, with only a few available slots uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the campus uh, and uh, on the, in the nursing program. So when the opportunity came to increase those nursing slots, uh, I jumped at it, and uh, it was not without controversy, which astonishes me. I thought it was absolutely uh, a no-brainer that everybody would embrace it and see immediately uh, the importance of access to opportunity for more students. Our uh, original program uh, could take only 72 positions for uh, student nurses, uh, and we had up to 1,000 applicants for 72 positions. So what do you tell number 73 and up to 999? Uh, and this was one way that I uh, thought we could answer that uh, by providing more opportunities. Uh, as I say, it was not without its uh, uh, obstacles and its uh, requirements, but uh, people dedicated to BCC and to uh, the learning process stepped forward and made it happen. And I include in that group the maintenance people who did all the hammering and nails and everything else that went on to refurbish the building. Uh, if you saw this building originally, you wouldn't believe what you see now. And when you see uh, uh, what's up on the third floor and the second floor, uh, it's just spectacular. It's just spectacular. So a lot of people came together. I use, one of my favorite uh, uh, terms is uh, colleagues in learning. Everybody associated with uh, being colleagues in the learning process, not just faculty. Uh, and that's what happened here. Uh, this is wonderful and of course colleagues in learning extends to our community partners and uh, Sue uh, uh, pointed out the importance of this uh, of this uh, access and this opportunity for employees of South Coast Hospital not just our uh, applications uh, applicants uh, in the uh, in BCC uh, again we're we're becoming part of the community uh, we want to be embedded in the community and make these kind of opportunities available. The governor, uh, the governor, the uh, secretary of uh, education, and the commissioner of higher education, Governor Patrick, uh, Secretary Revel, and Commissioner Freeland, all came when we opened the building in the first place for the uh, uh, for the uh, ribbon cutting. And my first words to the governor were, "Welcome to the future," because this is the future of education. Uh, the partnerships in the community, the technology that's infusing in all of our learning, uh, it's going to be spectacular. It has already. We had a good start with uh, massage therapy, occupational technology assistant, and uh, a number of other uh, general studies in health. Uh, so we have another other, other programs. You've heard about new ones coming, as well as nursing. Uh, so I can't pronounce those names either, Greg, so I'll let uh, Sue take care of that. But uh, we're very excited about the vast array uh, of health uh, programs. And while we're working on that, I'm already thinking of non-health programs that could also fit this format. Uh, because when you get down, people, are, uh, people have um, busy lives, OK, uh, and uh, in this uh, complex society. So you have uh, work, work uh, hours, a work schedule. You have personal needs uh, if you're taking care of an elderly parent or a young child, uh, travel. All these things are tending to block and be obstacles for uh, students coming to our regular Monday, Wednesday, Friday class at 10 o'clock. So this kind of use of technology, uh, as we see for the employees, you mentioned that it's hard to get here from the hospital even. That's not that, that far, but uh, the timing and whatnot. Uh, uh, and so it's great to have the opportunity available right at the hospital, right at the workplace. Uh, so, uh, access, opportunity, of course, the most important thing is quality of education, which you, you know, we think is a synonym with uh, BCC. Uh, so we're very excited. I, too, want to thank uh, Karen and uh, Greg and Pat and everybody who, uh, you know, that, as Greg said, this is only uh, scratching the surface of all of 
uh, myriads of people uh, who uh, who participated in some way uh, in making this happen. It's going to get bigger. It's going to get better. We're already looking for more buildings in New Bedford, uh, and we might take over the whole town, right? <laughs> but this is wonderful. Uh, and again, I want to thank our South Coast Hospital partners, and uh, uh, it's one. Thank you for coming, everyone, and I hope you'll enjoy uh, the day, and especially take advantage of uh, expertise that Karen has and others have about touring the uh, the facility. It's state of the art, and I say welcome to the future. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.